All right, guys, if you have never been to Costa Rica during the rainy season, then I'm thinking you've never really seen the real Costa Rica. This video is for you. So maybe you're, maybe you're vacationing and you are coming during the rainy season. You're not sure what to expect or what to do. Or maybe you're even contemplating, hey, honey, should we go during the rainy season? Hmm, I don't know. This video is for you. I'm going to tell you why the rainy season might be for you. I'm also going to give you tips if you are coming during uh, the rainy season. Anyway, guys, I'm Michael Lown for TravelCostaRicanow.com. TravelCostaRicanow.com is a travel agency, so go to TravelCostaRicanow.com. Fill out the four-minute form, and you'll be that much closer to the vacation of a lifetime. We're like you, having best friends who live in Costa Rica, who know Costa Rica, totally hooking up your Costa Rica vacation. If you haven't subscribed, please do. It definitely helps. And if you want to see the videos as we put them up, you got to hit the notification bell. And we do a lot of different videos. They might be worth checking out, so hit the notification bell. All right, before I get started, I do have a little bit of an advertisement. We are going to talk about rental cars a little later. But I just want to say, rental car scams is a thing here. It is real. You do not want to come to the airport to go pick up your car. The price wasn't the price. Maybe your car's not even there. Uh, the, they don't have good service. It's a scam. It's a scam. It's a scam. Trust me, I learned it the hard way 15 years or no, 17 years ago, whenever it was. It's a real thing. Don't want any of that with your rental car experience? Go to TravelCostaRicaNow.com, scroll down, Fill out the quick car rental form. I will get it to our guy and you will have no worries. The price he quotes is the price you get. You can ask him all the questions. You get great service and you get newer cars and you do not have to worry about that. Trust me, you don't want to start your vacation off with that. All of a sudden you're like, what do you mean $2,000 deposit? You didn't tell me about that. I only have so much on my credit card. So yes, I make a couple bucks. If you book on my site, that's how Costa Rica works. But still, you're going to, trust me, don't learn this one the hard way. The other one is, maybe you haven't been to Costa Rica before. Maybe you haven't traveled. You're, you're not really a seasoned traveler, and you want to kind of know the best tips about traveling in Costa Rica. I have that video. I'm going to put the link in the description. One video. It's about 38 minutes long. Yes, a little long, but it's got it all in there. You won't have... You won't be frustrated. You won't have to learn things the hard way. You won't be frustrated. I might even save you a couple bucks. It's worth it. One video and you'll be ready to come to Costa Rica. So that link will be in the description. All right. Number one, first, and to me, the most, one of the most important reasons you might want to consider Costa Rica during the rainy season is because it is popping. It's lit. There are a million different hues of green. The leaves are this big. Everything is completely lushed out. The nature is popping. The animals are out there. They're digging it too. The reptiles are out. The bugs are out. Everything is out. The rivers are running. The waterfalls are gushing. Everything is just on point. When you see the most beautiful pictures of Costa Rica, uh, it's during the rainy season. It's during the rainy season, unless it's a beach shot. It's during the rainy season. If you are a nature lover, you will love Costa Rica during the rainy season. Another couple things is, you know that when the turtles come up by the thousands, the hundreds to come lay their eggs, that's during the rainy season. You know the best time to spot the humpback whales? August and September. Just some added extras. Just some added extras. Now. If you, or maybe your friends, consider you a whiner and complainer, nah, you shouldn't come during the rainy season. You, you can definitely find something to complain about during the rainy season. You can definitely uh, find something to whine about. You guys, don't come. Ask your friends. If you're a whiner and complainer, they'll tell you, don't come. All right, so um, now... The rainy season, generally, the rainy season starts transitioning uh, like in April, and then going into May, we're starting the rainy season. And then it goes all the way to about November when it starts transitioning into, you know, the dr what they call the dry season. Dry season is November to like April. All right, that's the high season. That's where everything is the most expensive. That's when everybody comes, December and, the, you know, the new year. So now... The thing is, there's some, there's some uh, disclaimers a little bit because 
September and October, which is supposed to be the rainiest time of the rainy season, well, in a couple places, that's not really true. So I'm going to get, get, I'm going to tell you about that in a second. Now, first off, when we talk about the rainy season, that's a very confusing, uh, a group of words, the rainy season. Um, it's a misnomer. I know what you're thinking. You're like, there's perpetual rain all day, every day. No, there's not. All I can do, the best uh, maybe analogy would be, do you know when you go to maybe Vail, I don't know, in the snow where you go skiing and the sun is out, but there's like a, a thousand inches of snow on the mountain, but it's a beautiful day? We have that too. It's not always raining. That rainy season thing is like, oh my God, we're going to get caught. It's not always raining. So don't think of it quite like that. And what I was saying about September and October, here's the catch. On the Caribbean side, those are great months. So Puerto Viejo, Lamont, all down in there, those are nice months. And guess what? My area gets their weather pattern from the Caribbean side. I'm in La Fortuna. And our September and October tends to be good as well. So, just so you know. All right, so, again, <clears throat> a couple more reasons. Discounts. You're going to get better prices, man. You just are. There's people here, but just not like there is during, like, like the Christmas rush, the New Year, February and March and all that. I'm not saying that Costa Rica never turns completely dead. But it can get dead enough to where a lot of some hotels close for the season because they're just maybe they're located in a place where just not going to get a ton of tourists. So you can definitely find some good discounts and save you some money big time. And another one of my favorites, less people. You know, I love you guys. You know, I do. But I'd rather see the animals. I don't care. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> The less people to me is probably one of the best things about it. But I know some people like to have, you know, be on beaches where you're towel to towel. I don't. I like to be on the beach almost by myself. So less people, that's a big thing. All right, let's talk about some tips. Those are the, some of the reasons, just the, the beautiness of Costa Rica, less people, less expensive. Those are three very good reasons. All right, so I alluded to renting a car. Now, you might go, well, Michael, I kind of know Costa Rica, and I was just going to go, you know, land in San Jose, drive to La Fortuna, drive to Manuel Antonio to the beach, and go back to San Jose. And that's freeway. You know, you can go on the freeway. That's not really a problem. You know, it's good, you get pretty decent roads for the most part. Why do I need an SUV? Well, I'll tell you why. Because even now, you might be I just I, that was an example. If you happen to be on roads, now you can definitely be on roads where you need an SUV here. Definitely the Osa Peninsula down in Mount Pais, Nicoya Peninsula. Yes, and there's a lot of places where you definitely need an SUV. But one of the other major reasons you need it is because there are landslides here, there are accidents here, there are times when you just gotta go off to the side, kind of down in that mud and embankment, and come back around. You kind of need an SUV for that, or you might be three hours sit sitting around waiting for that uh, accident to move or a big tree in the road to move or whatever. When if you would have had a, a, a decent uh, SUV with some ground clearance, you could have just went around about your way. Now, if you don't want to rent a car, I totally understand because, you know, even during the rainy season, Waze works pretty good down here. So, if there are issues with the roads, Waze usually catches that. Now, if you're like, I don't want to deal with that, Michael. I don't want to rent a car. I don't want to drive. That's the great thing about the shared shuttle services here because they're usually pretty in tune with, you know, what roads are travelable. Maybe this, maybe that bridge is out over here. Might take them a minute to get you to your, to your destination, but they'll get you there where a lot of times we'd be lost and, you know, you're just going through the back, you know, towns you've never heard of and all kinds of stuff, and you may not ever find it. So that's a decent reason to, to uh, either use a private driver or like a, a shared shuttle service. If you are renting a car during the rainy season, don't drive at night. Just 
don't drive at night. I know a lot of you people are probably like me. You're like, Michael, I love to drive. I'm a type A. I'm a great driver. If you don't know the country, really, trust me on this because it's just not the rain. <laughs> there will be people in the fog, in the rain, walking four abreast on a road. You know, you're liable to run into a cow or a, an animal or a sloth or something. Driving at night can be fairly hazardous here. You know, it's not hazardous till it is. So please, uh, if you can help it, do not drive at night. And kind of know your route. If you are driving, do some planning. Watch, you know, watch the weather. You know, maybe get on the weather reports and see what the weather's going to be like or where it might be raining more heavily in Costa Rica because, again, it's not all the same. Um, so be conscious of that and your route. Um, also, La Fortuna would be a great example of this. What you want to do is get to your place. You know, be close to your accommodations and what you're doing. So if you're in Fortuna and you pick any hotel here, and you're just going to be here for three days. You're going to be pretty good whether it's raining or not. You don't have, you're not going to have to really worry about the roads because you're going to be close to the things you want to do, the restaurants you want to go to, the hikes you want to be at, and all that. So you don't really have to worry about it. You're not out in the middle of nowhere, don't know what you're doing, and that. So try to get to your destination and be, you know, do those things around that area so you're not driving, driving, driving all the time. Um, Everything you do as far as activities you want to schedule for the morning. I'm not saying it can't rain in the morning, but it is your best chance of good weather. Now, there's a few things, you know, I've made videos about this before. There's a few things where it rains, it doesn't really matter, man. If you go to the hot springs and it starts raining, it's almost a good thing. You know, you're in hot water, it almost cools you down. Um... Nature walks, sometimes the animals are out a little bit better uh, during the rain. Um, rafting, I've been rafting in the rain where you almost didn't notice. Uh, I, <laughs> I've done a zip line in the rain. You don't want to do that. <laughs> don't, don't do a zip line in the rain. And there's a few other things. And even rappelling or trekking through the jungle. When it's raining, that's, it's fun. That stuff is fun in the rain. So you're not... Um, I know it might, you, you know, you're like, oh, it's been raining for two days on our vacation, but, but just, man, go with it and you are, you are going to have a great time. And again, it's not always necessarily raining. This is my, check this out. I got the, I got the big boy umbrella. I even use this when I'm on my bike. I'm like this. Uh, I use an umbrella, and around towns, I think an umbrella is going to be a better uh, um, option for you. But if you're on hikes, or you're going to be out in the middle of nowhere, you might want to be carrying that poncho, or um, if you're hiking, you might want to wear that uh, um, waterproof jacket. But you don't, <laughs> okay, this isn't fair, and you can always do what you want to do. But something about people walking around town with ponchos on, I don't know why that's funny to me, but it just is. Get an umbrella. But you can do you if you want to wear a big... And don't... And you know where they sell those really cheap, paper-thin ponchos? You want to stay away from those because sometimes it can rain so hard. It's, I don't know. Those aren't really always that uh, helpful. Um, also, you want to definitely protect your tech and your cameras and your phones and all that kind of stuff. And maybe even if you're putting those in a freezer lock bag or whatever so they don't get wet, that's going to be helpful. You also might want to consider a power backup for your phone because there's some places in Costa Rica, you know, electricity can go out a lot of times during the rainy season. And even if the lights are out and stuff, um, you, you know, you want your phone to work. And even if it's not for the Internet, you want your flashlight on your phone to work. So you might want to bring one of those little power uh, packs. Um, remember when you're around rivers? to be careful because they're they're really running and you might want to watch the sides you know it can be pretty dangerous we have this uh, really cool place just 10 minutes from here walk called salto it's where our rope swing is you know you got to watch when it's really raining you know these some of these places can be extremely dangerous uh so <laughs> you don't always got to jump in that water and say, can i make it to that little waterfall be careful you want to be definitely careful when it's raining a lot uh, and also things are slippery and I'm not just a lot of people when I think, you know, I'm talking about slippery, you're thinking, well, when you're hiking around, yes, that's yes, obvious when you're hiking. But, but I'm telling you, Costa Rica is slippery in general. 
They like tiles here. Even tiles to your Airbnb can be extremely slippery. You're getting out of your car. You're protecting yourself with maybe uh, your backpack. And you're trying to run. Trust me. Trust me. <laughs> I know. So just, and even like walking around town, you know, there's some, uh, sometimes the infrastructure here isn't always the best. Uh, things can just tend to be slippery. So that's really it. I think rainy season is a great time to come because I'm, I'm actually, my thing is about the beauty of Costa Rica. But uh, I don't know. What did I miss? You tell me. Now, remember, I gave you that other travel tip video that's loaded with the kind of stuff. This was a very general, uh, a very general tip in the whys of the rainy season. So I would love to hear your comments. I would love to hear from the, some of you people that have been here during the rainy season. Did you like it? Didn't you like it? Leave your comments. It helps people, man. It really does. And I appreciate it. You're not gonna, you're not gonna offend me if you go, I can't believe you're telling people to come during the rainy season. We were stuck on a mountain with per torrential downpour for three months. Uh, maybe, maybe you were. I haven't been. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm Michael Allen, travelcostaricanow.com. Peace, guys. Hope it helps. Things are gonna pop up if you're thinking about living or traveling anywhere. Always do your homework and research. And if it has anything to do with Costa Rica, I'm going to say check out my videos and I'll put them up against anybody's. All right, man. Enjoy your day.